Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. In this video, we're going to have a look at the Cloud Library feature in Soundly. This is something which has been there for a while, but it's extremely useful. Basically, users can upload files to the Soundly Cloud to be able to access them from anywhere. Let's take a look at how this works. I've already made a start uploading my sound effects library, and if I go over to the library section, there's of course the Soundly Pro library, but also my own, which I've just called my custom sound library. Uploading stuff is really easy. I've got several folders of sound effects, most of which I bought years ago before I started using Soundly. They're still useful though, so I can just drag and drop folders from the finder on my Mac into Soundly. I'll do just one for now, and when I do that, there's the option to either drop them into my local library or my private cloud. It's the private cloud I'm interested in, so I'll choose that option. Now we can select if we want to upload to a new library or to an existing one. As I mentioned, I've already started this process, so my library exists and it's shown here. With that selected, I have the option to add a metadata file if I have one. This is good for some of the older libraries which don't have embedded metadata, and it just requires two rows of text, file name and description. I'll leave that for now and just click Upload. Now you can see that my files are going up to my Soundly account. This means that whenever I log in, I can always access both the Soundly library itself and my own effects, which means I don't need to carry my sound effects around with me on a drive. While that's going, I'll tell you about another really useful feature related to this. There will be times when you'd like to give other people access to your library. This is particularly handy if you want to share the effects with members of your team when you're working collaboratively on projects. And with a little bit of editing just for pacing in this video, let's skip to the point where the files have finished uploading. Okay, so they're now in my Soundly cloud and I'll go to my library, right click and choose share. Here I can enter the email address of a team member and give them access. I won't do it now, but we have options for whether or not the user can upload files, batch download, and whether or not they have admin rights. If all of those are left unchecked, users will just be able to search, audition, and download files one at a time. Since we've added a couple of folders of sounds, let's just check that they're working. I'll audition a few. Okay, that's good. And then with the Pro Tools session open, drop one in by clicking on the Pro Tools icon here. If you're already a Soundly user, then you'll know about this, but you can either drop the entire sound in, as I just did, or you can make a selection within the waveform area in Soundly, and then import it. And just the selected part has been imported to my Pro Tools timeline. Note that it's brought it into the track which had the cursor in. Finally, I can make a selection on a track in my session, then in Soundly, find the sound I want, and then import the exact duration I need. Now you might be wondering about how much cloud storage you get with the Soundly account. Well, by default, it's 10 gigabytes, but you can set up multi-user accounts and request additional storage. Or perhaps even better, Soundly can integrate with Google Drive, Dropbox, or Amazon S3. If I go to the database menu and then select Add Cloud Storage Provider, you can see that I can link it to an existing account, which means I can use storage which I already have access to. But also, if my library is already there, I don't need to download it and then re-upload it. Soundly will reference it from my Google Drive, Dropbox, or S3 storage. One final point about sharing files in Soundly with other users. Maybe you don't want to share your entire library, but just a few select sound effects. This could be the case if you're working on a particular project and you want people to have access to just the files which are needed for that. In those cases, we can create collections, add some sound effects to it by just dragging and dropping. So I'll just add a few to this newly created collection like this. And then once that's done, just right click on the collection name and choose share. So some great features there in Soundly. For more information, head over to getsoundly.com. Thanks for watching.